Where there's silence, there's a reason. A few years ago, several large organizations, IBM, PricewaterhouseCoopers, American Management Association, reported their results from surveys and interviews with executives about their biggest challenges that they expect for, future, for the future decade. Among the top three on their list was this one, improving internal communication to increase productivity. Everywhere I go, I encounter internal communication breakdowns because internal communication snafus sooner or later show up as poor customer service. Although I'm not a secret shopper, here are some of the most common communication breakdowns that your customers may not be telling you. Communication breakdown number one, your checkout process is too slow. In other words, don't lay off Lynn to save $10 and irritate hundreds of customers and lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let me give you an example. I occasionally stop by Supermarket X for a handful of items that I've forgotten at my regular grocery store. As I approach the checkout lanes, I see the same scene of frustration. One lane open, ironically the express checkout, with three to ten shoppers standing there rolling their eyes at the slow process. The problem? Management has reduced staff during the quote slow periods to save a few dollars on staffing but they're driving away many more valuable customers than that small labor cost of adequate staffing. I stopped doing my shopping, my major grocery shopping there at that chain because they're always understaffed at off-peak hours. Ironic. Communication breakdown number two. Teach your frontline people and your tech support staff people how to get along and communicate. In other words, people skills. The most common phrase at customer service counters seems to be, next. Customers feel as though they're being processed, like sausage. That face-to-face -face or phone interaction creates the first either favorable or unfavorable connection. It either opens or closes the gate for your organization to influence that buyer to walk through and look around at your products and services to investigate how you could meet their needs. If customer interaction is online, the greeting has to be even warmer than face-to-face. -face. If agents or technical staff can't write an email or can't even chat without sounding like a machine, don't let them interact with your customers. Communication breakdown number three. Don't hide from your customers. Literally, that's what it seems like. Check websites of some of the biggest customers or companies in the country and see how difficult it is to find a phone number or an email to contact them. It seems as if they really do not want to hear from their customers. Many seem to want to play loop-de-loop -loop when you want to find their phone number. Just last month, I spent more than five hours over a period of a couple of weeks with my phone company trying to get them to resolve what they claimed was an unpaid bill. They had, in fact, sent the bill in an era for, for an old fax line that had been closed three months earlier. They kept routing it from department to department, billing, receiving, and research multiple times and asking for documentation to be scanned and emailed, all to clear up their mistake. Leaders, are you listening? Peter Drucker put it wisely. The most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. Can you add other examples of internal communication breakdowns? Jot them in the comments section below.